about a new way to flavor your coffee? Maybe a fun paint for your kids or a way to protect your hardwood floors? They are all made with soy or corn, and they were all developed by Purdue University students who took part in this massive competition, and they're all here. Thanks for being with us this morning, guys, to share with us some of these products that you developed. Brian, tell us, uh, what's your last name? Hunter. Okay, Brian Hunter developed a way to sweeten coffee with, tell us. Well, it's a, um, we took soy proteins, corn, uh, sweetener, so basically it's, it's creamer, sweetener, and flavoring all in one neat package, so okay. you can just... Click right in. I don't normally take uh, sugar in my coffee, but I am a coffee fanatic. So I'm, in, in the interest of science, Brian, I'm going to try this out and see how this goes. This, again, is made from, how did you develop this? Well, uh, we had a chef on our team and a chemical engineer, and I'm a hotel management student. Okay. So we had, we had to create oh. a business plan and the whole bit. All right, so this could show up in a hotel someday that you get to manage. Quite All right, possibly. Here we go. We need a few more crystals, and you said it takes a little while to yeah, dissolve, it but I, it's, it's nice. definitely... Not immediate. And, and is it, uh, tell me I'm saving a few calories in the process, Brian. No, unfortunately not. <sighs> all right, well, all right. But it's something all natural that you helped make. Thank you very much, Brian. All right, we're going to move on to some paint products. Tell us, uh, tell us your names and what you came up with. I'm Julia Feiner. I'm Madri Canalo. Okay, so talk to us a little bit about what you developed here, uh, a paint for kids using what exactly? Um, well, our paint is a corn-based peelable paint. It is made um, from 90% corn-derived products, including a zane protein, which actually creates a polymer, which is um, where we get our peelable pro our property from. You must be the engineering students. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how it looks when it peels off. And, and there's a small demonstration. Oh, look at that. Now, we always worry as parents, letting the kids play with the paint, and if they uh, put some of it in their mouth. But this would be okay, I guess, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right. And, some, That's good too. and then do you hope to market this someday? What do you want to do with this? Um, yeah, someday. We, oh, as always, we hope to market this. Um, of, course, of course, there are always improvements that need to be made before this can actually go um, on the market. But, but you're, you are on your way. So nicely done. We're going to hear about this competition in just a minute. But tell us uh, what your name is and what you develop when it comes to hardwood. I am Tom Grimes, and what we uh, develop is impact flooring. And what I've got here is this is coated with our product, and this is coated with polyurethane. And you're going to see that you know I can put enormous scratches, scratches on it. Yeah, that, that had happens very easily. And there's just absolutely nothing that I'm going to be able to do with this to my keys. Now, this is something you definitely want to put on the market, don't you? Oh, definitely. I mean, we got interest from companies almost immediately. And then, I mean, even just from a dropping things impact perspective. And this is all part of, I mean, this obviously has its useful place uh, out there in the world, but this is also part of a competition. And, and how did that, uh, how did you guys all place? Uh, this actually placed first place in the uh, corn innovation competition. Look at that. And it survives. And it all is thanks to Purdue University. Guys, listen, congratulations on all the success that you helped achieve, and we will look forward to great things from you as you enter the job force.